Okay, in this session we're going to use an existing banner to go over the basics of banner creation and placement. Now to create or set up banners we need to go through several steps and the first is we actually have to create or get someone else to provide a graphic for our banner. You can see here I have a banner in the upper right hand portion that I created and we're going to talk a little bit about how to create one and then the second thing is we're actually going to have to set up the banner in the banner manager in the Joomla backend so uh, in order to get there we're going to have to log into the Joomla backend and select the banner manager from the components menu this is where we'll actually create the banner uh, itself and then we also need to make sure that we have a module position or that we identify one that's already set up in the module manager and we're going to go ahead and use an existing module position and in our next session we're actually going to create a new module position. So let's jump back onto our front page and let's first talk about the graphic and determining the size of the graphic since if we're going to add some additional banners to this site we need to either create them or we need to ask somebody else to provide them for us and we need to specify the the size. There's a couple of different ways to do this. We, um, we first can possibly go to our site template information and in this case I'm using a site template called versatility 4 and uh, and I've selected the uh, the module positions but I, I can see from the template information that this top banner positions come sort of preset up at uh, 468 by 60 pixels so I know that's going to be the standard size of my banner now you may not have template information like that and there's another very um, helpful way to find out the size and, and placement of graphics on the site and that is to install an add-in for your Firefox browser called Firebug and I, I've just found this to be almost an indispensable tool when working with web graphics and, and web setup so I've installed this and I'm just going to go ahead and click on my Firebug icon right down here at the bottom and this uh, is going to give me a way of pointing at things on the site and finding out about them. There's a lot of information that you can find out here. I'm specifically looking at graphics right now. So I'm going to click this little button that sort of turns on my interface and that lets me select things. You can see that now a, a blue line highlights the areas of the site that I'm looking at. And I'm going to come up here and have a look at the graphic itself. And if I click on that, I get um, some information on the HTML code uh, here and but what I'm really interested in is this layout tab where I can identify the actual size of the graphic and you'll see up above it's highlighted in in blue and this tells me right here that this graphic is 468 by 60 pixels as well and that there's there's no space padding around the the graphic click that off the next thing that I want to find out is is how did it get here? And there's and and I saw in my uh, temp template there's there's actually a module position. If I if I look down here, I see all the module positions associated with this particular template. And there's lots of different places on this site that I can put something. Um, the site is utilizing this top module position for the the banner placement. Um, the other way that I can look to see uh, the size on a or the size in the module positions on a Joomla website is to do question mark TP equals one and that's going to give us kind of an ugly screen but that will identify all of the different module positions on a Joomla based website so I can just scroll down here and see um, all of the different areas of the site you see there's some um, interesting code uh, there and uh, you'll see here that there's a top module position um, identified right there that we're using. So click off of that, reset my page. So um, two helpful ways. I really think that the the uh, uh, if you have access to it, the any information from your template provider on the module positions is probably the way to go. Okay, the next thing we're going to have to do is actually create the graphic itself. And uh, I created that in Photoshop. I'll just come over here and take a look at the graphic. You'll see I've got, uh, I just pulled a picture of this book right off of uh, 
right off of photo or excuse me right off of amazon.com and uh, put use different layers to uh, create different parts of the graphic in order to turn it into a, a format that uh, is useful for for putting on the web and and to make it small and load quickly I'll go to a uh, file and save for web and devices and once I do that it pulls up a like a wizard type thing here where I can change some settings so I can create that graphic using a JPEG format or a PNG format. Um, I like PNG because it makes the white background on a graphic transparent and so if you're putting a graphic over uh, may, maybe a colored background then you don't get that blocky white look like you do with a JPEG. This also gives me the uh, the ability to size the graphic if I needed to resize it and then once I do that I just simply save it and save it in whatever format that I want to. I've already got it out there so I'm not gonna just cancel out of that. Now once we've successfully saved our banner in a format that we want to upload to the website then we actually have to go to the website to the media manager and upload it. So again we're gonna go into the Joomla um, backend control panel and click on the media manager. Now these are all the graphics for the website and the media manager is organized um, with a series of folders much like uh, your finder or your explorer on the computer and there Joomla comes with a folder that's default set up for banners and I'll click on that and take a look at the graphics that we have there already and and we can see right here is that particular graphic. If we did not have it what we'd simply do is go down here to upload the file and we would go and select our our banner wherever we have that set up and there it is and we would uh, open that and select start upload and that's going to upload the banner into the media manager. Okay the next thing that uh, that we're going to need to do is to go in and, and I want to look at where this module is set up because we've already got it set up for this graphic but as we go forward we're going to need to um, either create a new module position or use the existing module position. So from the module manager I'm going to go in here and filter to the banners module type and I've got one already set up. This is uh, the banners module position that I have uh, stuck in the top module position here. I've called it banners and let me just step you through some of the details of the the module parameter. So I've got some details. Um, most of this is the default settings except for where I position that module and that module is also publicly accessible so anybody looking at the site can see it. Um, if I wanted to make it registered then only people who log into the site. In this area down here, module menu assignment is where does this module show up and right now I have it selected to show up on all pages um, or all pages associated with all menu items which is how Joomla works. Um, I could just say I wanted it to only show up on the on the home page so then if I go find the the main menu I could select home page and so you won't see that this banner anywhere else you won't see this module position anywhere else on the site except for the home page that's not what I want I want it on all pages and then hitting the module parameters here um, when you click on the banner this opens up in a new window with browser navigation or you could keep it in the existing window so if I click on a banner that has um, a link to another website it will pull that other website up in another window this count also determines the number of banners to display and since I have just enough room for one banner at the top all I'm gonna have is one um, if I had side banners where there was some flexibility in the height of that position I could put several banners there and uh, we'll actually talk about that when we create a new banner then here I can filter by a specific banner client or a specific banner category um, and I'm also gonna choose randomize and this uh, there's a couple settings here I'm gonna choose uh, the sticky randomize as opposed to the sticky ordering uh, and that way my banners will 
show up randomly as the screen's refreshed. So that's where we uh, just verify the module position and talk a little bit about the parameters of that module. The next thing that we're going to look at is is actually uh, looking at the banner itself. Okay, here on the banner manager, we've got a couple of different things that we're going to go through. We've got uh, our listing of all of the banners that we've created, um, including the one that I referred to and showed you the graphic on here. Um, we can see who the client is, who the, what the category is, whether that banner is published or not, and uh, some other information about it. And then we have uh, the banners, the clients, and the categories where we can dive into a little more. So we, get, we need to work backwards with banners, and since we uh, have one here, I'm going to show you that we, in the categories section, we have a category for that's just for banners. Now these are tools that you can use to filter the the, the banners in different areas of the site um, and show specific types of banners in specific areas and for, for right now we just have uh, one main banner in the top area so all we have is one category and then we have several banners so we have several clients and uh, here we have you just fill out some basic information um, to remember who the client is and this is useful for when you're actually selling some banner space to keep track of who your clients are and then in the banners area you can actually pull up and see the parameters for the banner that we've already created we've got a name for it um, we are showing it um, we're saying that it's it's not sticky um, and since we have uh, limited use of banners on this site that's not that important but what that means is if you I if, if you identify a banner as sticky it has priority over non sticky banners we're treating all of our banners the same so it, it doesn't really matter um, order is assigned by uh, Joomla when you set it up and here's where we select the category and we only have one and the client name so we would select which client um, is associated with this banner and if that client has purchased a certain number of impressions say 10,000 impressions we could limit that here so once those impressions have been exhausted the banner will no longer be visible next is the URL that uh, that we link to from that banner and you um, put it in here and then if there's any particular custom banner code you can um, add that here. In other words, if your banner is residing on another website and you're using code to embed it, um, but we're not. We're using the graphic that's in the media manager to uh, embed that banner. And and here's where we can select the banner image. And we've got several banners that we have available. You saw those earlier. Then, if we need to make any modification to the width and height, we can do so, and the system will show us the banner. So that shows you that the the banner is uh, here in the banner manager it is assigned from the module position we'll just go back over here and look at that again um, to the banners module which is positioned in that top space again just to refresh your memory that's right here in our template and if we look at the front page this is where the banner shows up and uh, that is really all of the pieces um, when it comes to banner creation and placement and in the next session I'm going to actually create a new banner a new banner module and we're going to set that all up from scratch